The aura of this book of Salinger's, which perhaps should be read by everyone except for young men, is this. It mirrors like a funhouse mirror. It amplifies like a distorted speaker, one of the greatest tragedies of our times. The death of the imagination. Because what else is paralysis? Imagination has become so debased that imagination, or being imaginative, rather than being the very linchpin of our civilization, now stands for a synonym for something outside ourselves. Like science fiction, or some new use for tangerine slices or raw pork chops. What an imaginative summer recipe. Or Star Wars, so imaginative. Or Star Trek, so imaginative. Lord of the Rings, all those dwarves, so imaginative. Imagination has been removed as being our most important link. Our most important link to our lives and our inner lives and that world outside that world, this world we share. What is schizophrenia other than a paranoid state where what's in here doesn't match up with what's out there? I believe the imagination is the passport that we create to help us take us out to the real world. I believe the imagination is what makes us most uniquely us. Jung says, the biggest sin is to be unconscious. Our boy Holden says, what scares me most is the other guy's face. It wouldn't be so bad if we both could be blindfolded. Now oftentimes, the faces that we face are not the other guys, but it's our own faces. And it's the worst kind of yellowness to be so afraid of yourself you'd rather put blindfolds on rather than to deal with yourself. To face ourselves. That's the hard part. The imagination. It, that's God's gift to make the act of self-examination bearable.